Hello everyone, my name is Silverweed and welcome back to Riders of Icarus. Today we are gonna do Trenua, which is the second titan in the game and it is Atiyah's uh, brother. I'm pretty sure it's his older brother and these two are like gods of destruction, gods of ruin. Um, and he is the one that was released uh, after Atias. Uh, he is he's not that new, uh, but he is definitely newer than Atias was. Uh, so I was really excited to get a chance to go into Tranua as well uh, after doing Atias uh, because I have never like I have been in here, but I died uh, instantly. Uh, so it's really cool for me to get a chance to actually fight this really really huge uh, enemy and when you just look at him he is freaking colossal and if you have uh, seen Atias in game or if you saw my previous video on Atias uh, you will realize that uh, they have share some similar things they they both have this kind of humanoid body and they both have that mana stone uh, in their chest which is something that is important for defeating them. So the approach uh, to defeating Tranua is somewhat similar to Atias. It has slight, you know, differences, but uh, the overall approach of hitting each different elements is the same. Uh, they are brothers after all, so I suppose it would make sense. Tranua is uh, like Atias, he punches you with his arms. Uh, luckily he doesn't spawn those kind of spears, those small balls flying around that hurt you really badly. Uh, he basically just lashes at you uh, at, the, at the first part of it. Um, he does this attack though that is quite more deadly to a lot of players than uh, Atias' attacks are. Or maybe they are overall equal when you count it all up. Um, but he summons uh, small allies as one thing. Those are manageable. They can be a really pain, but they are manageable and you can get uh, you can get to destroy them fairly easy, you just have to uh, get the right aim on them. Um, but he does this kind of aura outlet of kind of purple um, glow that just is like a curse on you and you get it on you and you're pretty much just, you're dead if, if you get this on. Unless you are a tank which has a lot of health. And I am a tank but I don't have a lot of health but still I am able to survive it if I fly away from the area and then recover uh, because it sticks on you and you have a few seconds to live and then it unleashes on you and does major damage. As you can see it just poops your freaking health down and mince them out but luckily I can survive it. But uh, DPS players that doesn't focus as much on health can possibly not survive it. There's a cure for it, uh, as far as I understand, uh, Hitty, uh, the guild leader, said that a certain quest will give you uh, an item that is gives you resistance to, uh, to this particular attack. That's definitely something I should look into uh, if, if I go into Tranua again, because it's quite, it's, it's a pretty big deal breaker. Um, and uh, it disables me for a little bit. Renewer is better in the sense that he stands still more than Atias does because Atias has all these movable elements uh, around him where Tranua basically spawns the, uh, the small add-ons that attack you, small gargoyles I think they are, uh, and then he does the outlet of stuff and he smacks you. But there's a certain part where he just stands still almost like he's charging up after his attacks and you can just shoot at him, which makes him easier than Atias. I thought it was the other way around, uh, but really, uh, Trenua is the one that goes down faster than Atias does. In most cases. Of course, there's some place where it uh, goes differently. And also, Trenua has a tendency to kill your mount. It kills your mount. And uh, you, you may, if you have a max level legendary, you probably won't have a, a problem, but if you don't, then he can kill them. Heroic ones, they, they die pretty quickly if you're too close. Uh, so that's one thing he does that's also quite troublesome, but if you just have a ton of mounts, like I do, then you can change them, but it's still... Uh, it, it can be annoying.
and down he goes. So that was Trendua. Uh Thank you so much to my guild for bringing me. I really, really appreciate it. I think it's amazing to be part of these titans and bosses in general. It's really incredible for me to be a part of it. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. So long, fellow riders. <laughs>